Hey Realtors, so we just found out exactly where to go to find buyers and sellers who are in the market for real estate 90 days to 180 days from now. Okay, so if you want to know how to find these buyers and sellers, watch this video. So the real question is this, how are entrepreneurs like real estate agents who don't have a lot of resources, who are spending money from our own pockets, how do we promote ourselves in a way that lets our names, services, and things we believe in out to the market and still make a profit closing deals? That is the question and here's your answer. My name is Eric Chuang and welcome to my channel. All right, so the answer is actually very, very simple, okay? And I'll be honest here, I've actually known uh, the answer where to find buyers and sellers a long time ago, okay? And that's not the difficult part, obviously, right? The most difficult part is actually converting these people who are in the position to buy or sell real estate and turn them into actual customers, okay? And so uh, we can actually find the people who are in the position to buy or sell real estate 90 days to 180 days from now on a site we all know as Google, okay? And um, this makes sense, right? Because the first step taken uh, during the home buying and selling process, the buyer or even the seller, the first step taken, they, they go on the internet, okay? This is according to a report put out by the NAR, okay? And the same report suggests that uh, buyers and sellers go with the first agent that they are in touch with, okay? So if we know that to be true, half the battle here is to be first, okay? Not second, not third, not fourth, not 10th, but you just need to be first, okay? And if we know they, uh, the first step they take uh, during their decision-making process uh, is to go on the internet, in my opinion, every single realtor out there needs to be marketing themselves on the internet, okay, because that's where they are, right? And the first step they take is go on a site like Google and search, uh, for example, where I am, Vancouver, uh, it's gonna be Vancouver Real Estate for Sale, okay, something like that, right? If they're in Seattle, they're gonna search Seattle Real Estate for Sale. Or um, if they're in Los Angeles, they might wanna look at a particular uh, area, they would type up uh, Beverly Hills uh, real estate for sale. Okay, so uh, you can apply that into your own city and your own MLS area. Okay, whatever it is, the first thing they take is go uh, take out their phone or uh, pull out their computer and type in um, real estate for sale. Okay, on Google. Okay, and so now that we know that's true, we actually need just two things in order for us to actually succeed in the real estate market in 2020 and beyond, okay? And the first thing that uh, every realtor must have um, is something I call the responsive marketing funnel, okay? In other words, your own version of Zillow, okay? What that means is basically if you are an agent in Boston, um, you're gonna have to have a version of Zillow for uh, listings in the Boston area. Okay, and if you're in uh, San Diego, you need to have a responsive marketing funnel with San Diego uh, listings, okay, most up-to-date MLS listings, by the way, okay, and uh, that's actually very easy to set up, and the reason why we want to have that is, number one, um, Zillow has done all the work for us, okay, Zillow literally spent millions, uh, if not hundreds of millions, on developing their website right now, and they're dominating the entire industry, okay, and so all we got to do since they figured out everything, we just really need to uh, copy them, okay, or model what they've done successfully, okay, and apply it uh, locally to our uh, real estate market, okay. Um, as we all know, uh, Zillow is, you know, aiming for national. Uh, we just need to go for local, okay. So again, if you're an agent in Boston, you just have to have your own version of Zillow uh, for the Boston area okay and the reason the second reason why we're providing a, a responsive marketing funnel is because um that's what your customers are looking for right uh, say any um buddy who's interested in real estate they're gonna want to know um the listings uh that's for sale right now right that's on the market right now they want to know how much they are for you know what um how do they compare to uh, their own property that they want to sell or buy, right? They just want, uh, in other words, more information, okay? And it's your job as, as a realtor to provide that to them, okay? That's all you gotta do, right? 
you want to give the people what they want okay and so that's the first thing you need a responsive marketing funnel that's actually providing value okay you can't you shouldn't have a website that just shows you know a nice picture of you you know in a nice suit and you know dressed up and saying okay i was i promise i will sell your house or sold by uh jack right uh, sold with integrity okay that's a given okay as a customer when i see that when i say sold integrity sold with integrity i'm thinking yeah it, it, you, that's your job you have to do it right so um you don't need a website like that all you gotta uh do is set up a uh, website that's like uh your own version of zillow okay for your area okay so number that's that's number one thing that you need number two you need something i call selective tracking okay and what selective tracking does is once somebody who's in the market for real estate visits your site we will have tracked them okay we don't want to track um, people who are not interested at all okay that's why we want to first advertise on Google and then uh, track them with selective tracking then with selective tracking we can actually retarget them everywhere and uh, on the internet okay so for example if someone visits uh, if a buyer visits your website you can um, basically uh, number one, track them with selective tracking. Okay, you need to implement that properly. And then once they go to sites like CNN.com or even uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, they're gonna see retargeting ads from you. Okay, and all you gotta do is provide a little bit more value than the, the, the other uh, agent does, and you will uh, have more credibility and authority in your area. Okay, plus they're gonna see you th uh, a lot throughout the internet okay once uh, they're browsing on the internet let's say they go to a blog they're gonna see ads from you okay uh, all that does is help you indoctrinate your uh, prospects okay so if you like to know how I implement selective tracking for my private client realtors make sure you click the link below for a free training okay I, in this training I show you exactly how we uh, implement something I call action-based branding, okay? Uh, that's basically how we um, implement responsive marketing funnel with the selective tracking and combine it to get clients coming to you while you do whatever you want, okay? This is happening right now in 2020, okay? I'm helping my private client realtors accomplish this, okay? They're, they're uh, literally doing whatever they want and these clients, because our system has been set up to indoctrinate them uh, the indoctrinate the prospects automatically um, when they're actually finally ready to pull the trigger the only realtor they're going to think of is you okay so uh, if you'd like to know how we set that system up uh, make sure you click the link below and learn everything you need to know about action-based branding and how we implement selective tracking as well as responsive marketing funnels okay so once again it is 100 percent free if you click the link below right now okay uh, i can't promise you it's going to stay on the internet uh forever uh and i can't promise it's going to be free forever okay so uh if you see, if you're watching this right now chances are it's still up but i can't promise it'll stay up forever okay so again click the link below to watch uh my free training on action-based branding okay i'll see you guys in the training